four years ago, I was sitting with some of my friends back in Greece in a bit, and we're discussing things I enjoy. We're talking about do-it-yourself things, we're talking about the sun, we're talking about nature. And one thing that came up is, why not people, why not all people in the world use solar energy? My friends were saying they don't use it because it's expensive. And I was saying, no, it's not. They were saying, yes, it is. And I was saying, no, it's not. And that thing kept going on and on and on for like a day or so. So I decided, okay, I'm going to prove them wrong. And what is the best country in the world to study solar energy? Of course, it is Scotland. <laughs> After all, I was thinking to myself, if I can make it work, I will become a billionaire and I will have solved the energy crisis. There is a little problem with that. It does work, but I'm not a billionaire yet. So let me explain what I did. Basically, if you ask the solar industry how they're making solar thermal collectors, they will say, well, we, we've been doing this, we have been doing them the same way for over 100 years now. We have a plate, it heats up, we have a series of piping underneath, the piping pick up, pick, picks up the heat, and then we can use it. So I'm thinking, why are you using the absorber plate? Well, it works, we have been using it forever, why stop now? So my first thing was, okay, no more plate for you guys. I'll take away the plate, and I decided to use the piping as my absorber plate. Instead of using traditional materials such as copper and aluminum, which are expensive and heavy, I used a very cheap rubber I could find literally down the street. I actually bought mine of crockets, like 100 meters from here. It worked fine. We're talking about a very thick black rubber that you spiral wound very tightly, and because you pack it in tightly, it actually acts as a larger solar thermal collector than a smaller one. And the best part of it is you can make it on your own in your basement in two hours. So we're talking about something that works, we're, we're talking about something that acts as larger, and we're talking about something that is cheap and everyone can use. So basically think of it as your IKEA approach to solar collectors. Having that, and having that working in here, I don't see the reason for which we shouldn't be using it everywhere. And the most important thing, I proved my friends wrong. They are cheap. Thank you. <laughs>